Welcome back to the reality, guys. I'm your host, Billy Blinks, joined as always by my co captain, Brian. Ahoy, mateys. We're heading back down to St. Lucia. This is episode three, season 10, the OG below deck, Captain Lee and crew. Uh, this was in time for their first turnover and for the second charter of the season, Dr. Pearl and her super hot doctor friends. <laughs> we will get to Dr. Pearl and the Pearlettes later this episode. Um, I do <laughs> want to start with the title of the episode. And to me, I think the main event still again, Rachel. Best awesome. character by far probably the best character we're covering right now on reality tv which isn't a surprise if you're a long time below deck fan um this episode was called the muff truff experience so a uh, muff truff experience refers to the fact that for one of the dinners the women the doctors excuse me not the nurses nope. fraser not the Shame nurses. on you bill no the doctors uh they wanted to have a truffle dinner which you know fancy expensive your super yacht uh captain lee made sure to let us know multiple times that it was super yacht the, everyone you have to do it like super yacht style not just yacht style mm -hmm. problem was like we saw last week and with rachel with her two things that rachel's really good at being really honest and not planning well <laughs> right what is she doing all this? <laughs> like, check your inventory please <laughs> so rachel uh the reason we're laughing here is rachel couldn't find the truffles. She got a bunch of truffles. But they have multiple kitchens and multiple storage things. And somehow Rachel lost the main ingredient and didn't check for them until a few minutes before dinner was supposed to start. That just blows my mind that like on a, like a super expensive boat, they're not, especially the, the title was like, we want truffle. Like that should have been the first thing. Like it's leave it, glue it to the counter. It's there. Like you cannot lose it. I always want to think production like hit the truffles. Yeah, they definitely did. Like it's just classic, but in a classic Rachel style. And I think what, what a lot of us would do as home chefs, she just found anything that was truffle flavored, truffle, salt, truffle, butter, truffle, anything. And also the great equalizer on the yachts people, but the food, they're always super drunk. Oh, yeah. So Easy peasy lemon squeezy. She squeezed up. She got like the truffle parm, like everything. Mm -hmm. It's just nothing that is actual truffles in it. Goes off without a hitch. So uh, even though things weren't looking good for Rachel, this none like last week, Peng, the food went over well to start, even though the dinner was late again, which they do have to tighten that up. Uh, speaking of late, we did have our first uh, oversleep of the season, uh, Katie overslept on turnover day uh ross the bosom has to go talk to her which is awkward right because katie's got a little crush on ross the bosom mm -hmm. definitely like just reminds me of like in high school where like you like somebody and you're like you don't want to like do something wrong i mean this is like a love you this is your job but like just anything like just oh i'm sorry i'll do whatever yeah um cool to see the first docking and then the second departure during the specialty of the second one that had the wind, the heavy wind condition. So mm -hmm. and things are monster boats, man, like really, really cool. And as we see tough for Dr. Dr. Lee, I'm among <laughs> all the doctors now for captain Lee, he calls the doctor, uh, but even tough for him to stand on kind of the side steering that you have for docking with those large boats. He could barely even do that. Right. Uh, we did get a little bit of what, if you guys are just watching us for the first time and just watching us for Blow Deck, we like to call the Jersey Shore edit, where the tease for the episode shows you that we're going to talk about something and it doesn't really happen. We get half a second of it at the end of the episode. Kind of got that with Doc. We did it almost <laughs> did it again, Brian, with Captain Lee. Well, um, Too many looks, prefixes. <laughs> looks like next week is when we're going to get the Captain Lee sit down, which means that's going to happen in the last five minutes of the episode. Of course. Which means probably 100%. the next episode, we get the next captain. Yeah, I mean, next episode was great. Oh, my uh, God. It was, it was awesome. so good. I mean, the, Ross, right? Yeah, Ross. Ross has Alyssa and Katie in one ep in one episode? Yeah. But, I mean, it's also been building. Like, they're mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm really into him. And it's just like. I don't know. They, this is the kind of stuff I want to see on the, this is where I think it becomes reality TV. Oh, it's going to get, it's quick. And this is again, only the second chart. Yeah. It, it, they are moving quick with the drama. This I like season. it. I like um, it. One thing I also liked was captain Lee and his rules for wrinkles on his shirts 
and for his drawing, he doesn't play games. You're going to go re-steam my whites. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, people that are into ironing and, like, having their clothes, like, like star, what is it, starch press? Is that? that yeah, thing? starch press. Yeah, yeah exactly. like, they take that stuff seriously. So, he's got to look good. He's the captain. I also like that um, Camille and Alyssa still hate each other. And it looks like Camille's overplayed her hand. You know what she did wrong, Brian, right? She talked over the mic. Talked over the radio. <laughs> Even the Captain Lee is like, shut up, shut up. And oh, he's like, I'm dying, literally dying right now on this boat. And I'm listening to this chick yeah. say that she's not going to put the wine cooler and all the water on the boat. Like, mm -hmm. she, the girl is your boss. Listen, the reason you're on both crews is because you are literally the lowest person yeah. on this on this crew. Yeah, you're the help. You're the helping hand. You're the floater. The float you means you, you, are, you are everybody's assistant. Yeah, I would also think like you should know like if you're the bartender like you're if the bartender is asking you for things you're almost like the bar back which is a bartender is higher than a bar back right yeah a and bar? Alyssa is they have her as the chief stew like, yeah. she's the main one like not chief stew but she's the main yeah. like, deckhand underneath of uh Fraser I yeah mean, right 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 I mean there's not like she gets a higher salary or anything but that's the type of way where you work your way up and build that experience over time and you get asked mm -hmm. back on to those crews and stuff and you actually right. then can get the money like the bows and gets or like the chiefs do get the uh the the, the walkie talkie that i felt like uh captain lee was like sauron like just always watching if you're talking over that he could hear you and he's just like god love me. he's like god damn it <laughs> um they had dominoes for dinner that was funny Love that St. Lucian He's eating with a fork and knife. St. Lucian Dominoes. Um, another a couple of good quotes, obviously from Rachel too, that we have to go over. Uh, she said she's bigger than Moby's dick when referring to the boat. Yep. Uh, she also said, "I love how these ladies want to throw a Hollywood themed dinner. A Hollywood themed dinner would be cocaine, vodka, and hate. love this. Just she's good, man. I, I really liked her the these last three episodes so much." Uh, oh my god, yeah. And if she you great. when you go back, like, and it's worth going back and watching mm -hmm. the old seasons and stuff, she's even more like she's even crazier back then. Like, I, I've told you, <laughs> she mm -hmm. like, walks off, stuff yeah. Is, that's like, awesome. Time, I, I gotta right? definitely add it to the list because the list yeah, is as, I know you're in a love and hip hop dive right now, which uh, also will be releasing, it'll be the episode after this in our channel. But, um, overall, really looking forward, not in a positive way, but I do want to see what happens with Captain Lee. It does look like he's mm -hmm. leaving. I'm very curious to who they would replace him with. I've seen some theories online of people saying, like, maybe uh, Captain Sandy um from also from the other below deck franchise uh, I'm, I'm very curious i would like there to be somebody new personally and have there be this kind of crazy dynamic but we will see i don't think you're going to get some young person uh yachting the super yacht things yeah like I, I mean i don't know any of these people so any no i just mean like i think whoever they bring in is oh yeah you gotta have some you're not getting some young captain coming in no this. they're you're bringing somebody who's not going to be playing games right. uh we appreciate everyone's interaction. All the knowledge people were throwing in the comments. Uh, please keep throwing the things out there. Let us know your theories. Uh, make sure you're like subscribing, hitting the notification bell. We are covering, covering everything and anything reality TV. But for myself and Brian, thank you. Peace.